to the 8th Guild of St Clair Sewing Retreat. It is such a consolation to be able to be here together as a committee. When we think about the repairs we're going to do and the commission, we like to give every single repair and every single make the best we possibly can. And that's partly because we take a pride in our workmanship, but it's also because the work itself is a prayer. We want to make it as perfect as possible, to make the prayer as acceptable as possible. I'm sure I don't need to tell you about the contents of the document from Rome, Traditiones Custodes, and the subsequent responsa ad dubia, but it's been very much on my mind, I'm sure it's on your mind, and it's against that very threatening backdrop that we are gathering here this weekend. It seems to me that the unity of the church is threatened, and I think that that speaks quite powerfully to the kind of work that we're doing, not just symbolically, but actually materially. I'm going to speak to you about courage or fortitude, the virtue of fortitude. I want the Lord to encourage all of you. And I want us to rediscover that courage which first led us on our Christian vocation, whatever that might be. When we start a repair on investment, what we'd really like is for it to be back to how it was before. But you can't do that. You, once something's been damaged, it can never be how it was before. It can never be like new again. When we repair it, what we can do is to strengthen it, protect it against further damage. Sometimes you can make a virtue of a, of a, of a damaged bit of investment and, and add some decoration that wasn't there before. At the end, you love that investment even more because of the time and the hours you've spent on it. And the damaged bit is the most precious bit. And you prize it more highly than a new investment. What I'm really getting at is so as well as you can for the glory of God.